Ford Gaddy to come forward and not let him box. He felt like it that way already. Fighting, just keeping his hands very close, trying to. Left to just using, probing up on a punch. He also, Domgard had been averaging 80, then has been his action profile. Where the shoulder needs the punches usually. Flicks the jab out. And as he becomes busy, he's going to leave right hand right through the center. Right hand to the body. And, and he's throwing his right way when you fight a southpaw. Not loading up. Just a little something that took to the body that he wanted. Had more things to punch and work off of now. Exactly. And he uses the jab to set up a right hand and then fires a barrage of left. That a lot. Gaddy contents himself with another. There's a perfect left hand by Gaddy. And at 147 pounds, Gaddy. the left, far more hand, down the pipe, lands for a turn, comes upstairs. Gad is a tremendous puncher. And, and Gaddy's wrapping 30-27, Gaddy. Against the ropes, with a series of right uppercuts, hammers down guard, down guard. Five straight uppercuts before. to the body from Gaddy. Having a punch, he never stands back at a distance. Already he's having problems with the hand. Now he throws it again, continues to throw there. For instance, when we've seen Gaddy break his hand during a fight, he shakes the right hand in the glove. Becoming more relentless. He doesn't have that much power. Gaddy's still throwing the right hand. Hard to tell whether there's any less authority on it. Remember, he broke it in both the second and third fights against Mickey Ward and won them both anyway. Gaddy taking a real punish, battering here. The door short punches are being effective. Fishing of Gaddy by being so persistent. Once again, as you can see, Gaddy has had a little bit of punching room, but that guy is getting closer, and when they get him a certain distance, he can't. But Gaddy can turn the entire... Possible that Domgard has the sense He's the bigger, stronger, and he's getting more confident with each passing moment. Yes, but I, I think the fight is going pretty much as he expected, though, more so than Gaddy. But uh, right there, good example. Gaddy didn't land nothing while they met a chain. He starts moving forward right away after every time. There's a blow right into the cup by Domgard. Referee Lindsey Page did nothing about it. Big left hook by Gaddy. They trade again at close range. And another huge left hook by Artur Gatti. And another one. Damgard has not been in these both eyes. That's common for him. No bleeding so far. Damgard seems to be slowing down just a we can right now. They trade shots with reckless abandon. This is the kind of fight which has typified Arturo's entire career. Damgard for low blows. Five different times during the fight. Right here in position, and all of a sudden, if a guy starts fighting him in a southpaw position, you think he's finished, and he'll still be punching. Yeah, but it, it just, he's so close. To... Relentless. Coming and coming and coming. And taking and taking. And giving and giving and giving right. Head swinging left hook by Gary. domgard has got an excellent chin. Watch Manny Pacquiao beating Eric Morales. Yeah, I think it's in the scalp over the course of the past two or three years against Gaddy and uh, Force Light. And the same goes for Freddy. When he decided to... Much better. And it was very impressive to me. Tura Gaddy, after stopping his fight with Mayweather, would have. And he's known to do that. Gaddy may be switching southpaw and throwing that straight left hand power punch. Hand back and use it sparing. When a fight has broken his right hand as many times... Let it go. A nerve and maybe not enough which is the kind of thing he did against Mayweather. And May right hand again anyway. Both fighters look a little under to me that Gaddy doesn't have too much fear of them guards' power. There's his right hand. Could land in that blow also. Throws an uppercut and appears to be fighting. Still Gaddy being the warrior, he Gaddy. still is going to throw that right hand. Absolutely. Look at those left hooks. Those are classic signature Arturo Gatti left hooks. Not when Ruelas was beating him. Like the one that starts Wilson Rodriguez when he was blind in both eyes. Sometimes that can do more damage than a punch. That's how he broke the hand against Ward. 
Uh, guard, their punches with strength and not snap or right. power. But he's way behind in the fight. Does he ping it into the mouth to Thomas Dombo? Yes, I believe he's bleeding from both the top of the head and the mouth of the southpaw stance. Uh, we know him in the southpaw so he can get power with it. The fact that he can do it is tremendously... He's got so much guts. But that's discouragement about the rest of his career, not about this fight. He's going to fight through the fight and make it the best stance. Still throwing the right hand as an uppercut. Look at the... <laughs> see it. I expect him to go southpaw. Oh, oh, and he bends yeah. over, cringing in pain after throwing the right to the body. And, and hurt him with the right hand. Both hands go hard with the right hand when it's closed. The left hand is the money punt. And pace him very carefully before going back to fight Dumgard. Here's what this man has. You just don't see. Holds up. Looking at his body and everything, he looks very good at Rock away. Than even Dumgard. Hey, look. He looks very strong. He's beating up a guy who's 28 and 0, has spent his whole career at welterweight, won the European welterweight championship. This, this is a few seconds away from being stopped. If Gary lands one more good punch, we might see at the end of the fight. Let me repeat, 37 and 0 with 28 knockouts. That was the point I wanted to make. So he's he's annihilating a guy at close range who had won all of his previous fights and came here expecting to beat Arturo Gatti. And now he staggers him with the right hand and Lindsey Page stops the fight. And once again, the hero rises.